by the end of this decade, the whole landscape of the mobile telecom industry will look totally different. In a major step forward in the tech partnership between Japan and the UK, Rakuten Mobile, Rakuten Symphony, and Rakuten Symphony UK launched the Rakuten Open RAN Customer Experience Center in the UK on March 28, 2023. Open RAN technology allows different companies to provide different parts of a mobile network based on their specialized expertise, instead of just one large supplier. And Rockton has been a trailblazer in the field of Open RAN since Rockton Mobile launched the world's first fully virtualized cloud-native mobile network in Japan in 2020, with a Rockton Mobile Open Innovation Lab opened in Tokyo in 2022, to be followed by the Rockton Symphony Global Innovation Lab in Bengaluru later in 2023. This new center in the UK underlines the commitment by Japan's Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications and the UK's Department for Science, Innovation and Technology to increase telecommunications supplier diversity. It will provide an essential touchpoint for education about Open RAN, serving as a hub for interoperability testing in new and existing networks and hosting workshops and events to demonstrate the latest Open RAN developments. To mark the opening of the center, the UK team invited customers, partners, government representatives and media and analysts to a special event. This included a panel discussion with speakers from Japan and the UK governments, as well as a European industry organization and Robbie Debussy from Rakuten Symphony. Uh, the Ministry of Internal Affairs uh, and Communication Japan planned this funding project in order to support open run uh, development. To uh, pro promote Open RAN, we take uh, various policies. Uh, first of all, we uh, uh, support uh, research and development. Then the other important uh, policy for us is this kind of uh, uh, yes, going uh, to talk with other governments and other uh, vendors, then coming to uh, or joining workshop to promote our policies. And this is important because uh, Open RAN is a bit difficult to understand and we need to learn. From uh, the UK government perspective, having a very small number of vendors in our supply chain creates a national security risk. There's no way for us to mitigate that with better security rules or whatever. That is just a fact. On the other hand, we have some security concerns that I guess you would sort of say you associate with all emerging technologies and they are sort of mitigatable and addressable and actually that's why we need to do the work both as governments and as industry. So Open RAN is, uh, is a very exciting potential means to deliver that diversification. The opinion of the ethno members and of telecom operators is that Open RAN is good and is needed and that's why it's two years now uh, that we started uh, monitoring for the first time in the history of our state of digital, also open run deployments and trials. And at the end of 2022, we counted six uh, trials in Europe, uh, uh, which looks good, is the same number as China. However, when it comes to real life things, uh, we need people like Rakuten to make it happen. When we talk about mobile networks, it's not about companies building networks to sell connectivity services. It is an essential element of the fabric of the critical national infrastructure of that nation. And there is a direct correlation between the service you offer as a telecom service provider and broadband or mobility and the impact on your GDP, the impact on your national security, the impact on the key pillars of any nation, education, healthcare, safety, and security. This lab is an end-to-end -end lab that is completely based on cloud with open compute systems, all the infrastructure and the reference architecture that we have communicated openly in public about. And it is open and available to any player in the industry to come and test and validate their technology. The panel discussion was followed by a tour of the new facilities. Showcasing Rockton's range of antennas and radio systems, among other things.